Hello friends, welcome to tutorials point. In this tutorial we will see how we can create a role in a SAP HANA system. So first of all what is the use of a role? So let's say if I have 10 users in my system and I want the similar access to be provided to all of them. So the one way of doing that is that I can create one user and I can provide the same access to him. Similarly, I can create the second user and I have to provide again the similar access to the second user. So, either I can create the 10 separate users and provide them the access separately. Or, there is an easy way of doing that is that I can create one role which should have the access which I want to provide to all of those 10 users. And after that, when I create those user, I can simply assign them that particular role. So automatically, what all privileges I have added to the particular role, that will be added to the user. So that is the main purpose of creating the roles in the system. So that the duplicacy of the work should be avoided. So for this, we have to go to the security and then we have the roles. So we will right click and we will click on the new role. We can enter the name of the role here. So let's say if I want demo underscore role underscore one and here we have the different options. We can have the granted roles, we can have the part of the roles. Part of the roles means like let's say if I want a certain, um, if I already have some role and I want to assign the part of that role to this particular role. So I can use this one. After that I have the system privileges. System privileges means that it will assign this, uh, the roles like the audit admin, agent admin. So all these roles they are automatically created when we install the SAP HANA studio and when we connect to the system. So these roles are the system privileges. So we can assign either the system privileges. After that we have the object privileges which are for the particular objects like the schema. Then we have the analytical privileges. Analytical privileges are again they are the privileges which we have already created in the system and we can use them while creating the role. Then we have the package privileges. So if we want to assign the privilege for a particular package then we can use the package privileges. Then we have the application privileges. So if we click on this particular sign, so we can see that these are the, uh, like when we create certain application using SAP HANA, so we can select the application privileges and we can assign them to the role as well. After that, we have the privileges on the users. So we will use the object privileges here. If we go to the plus sign, so here we can enter the schemas on which we want to provide the privilege. So let's say I want that the users, the new users, they should have the access to the e-fashion and they want to, they should have the access to the SPRA. So I will add these two here and I can assign the privileges here. So let's say if I want that they should have the access to alter, to create, to delete, to drop so all these accesses I want to provide them for the this particular schema similarly for the e fashion I want the alter create delete drop execute so I can assign them here so once it is done after that I will click on the deploy so once this role is deployed I can go to the particular user so let's say if I want to create a particular user I'll go to the new user and if I uh, go here in the granted roles I if I click on the plus sign I can search for the role which we have just created that is a demo role one and I can simply add the demo role one instead of adding the schema SPRA e fashion then defining again the rights which I want on the particular schema. So to avoid all that duplicate work, I can simply create a role and I can create the number of users and, and I can simply add this role to the granted roles for the particular user. So in this tutorial, we have seen how we can create the role, what is the purpose of the role, 
how we can assign that role to the user in SAP HANA system. Thank you.